today we are discussing about the how to reduce the cost in the cloud gcp cloud so when we move into the uh, gcp or when we move in the azure aws the recent cost reduction is a very important factor right because uh, any organization that is an important concept right we are required or we are giving the good services to client the same time we need we need to reduce the uh, total package or total value the quantity we deliver the quantity is high but the cost should be deducted how we can reduce the cost there are several ways are there the first way is we can reduce the cost of the vm then there are three kind of ways we can use that definitely you want to point out that i will tell you the first one is we can use the sustained discount of the gcp the first one the second one will be the uh, committed use of the gcp discount and third one will be the pre attempting vm use the first one is the uh, sustained use of the gcp discount we can use how we can use means we can get a when we increase the usage on the billing month we will you know right at the end of the billing month we will get the bill how many times or how many uh, hours we use the particular vm then we can reduce it by using the increasing the percentage of the usage that is really exciting right when you increasing the usage it will be the discount we will get from the gcp so that i will tell you how it work and for uh, some restriction they are uh, there you uh, uh, some kind of warning is there the first one will be definitely we want to use the items from the kubernetes engine or google kubernetes engine or the compute engine so that is the first case the second case it is not applicable when we create the vm instance using e2 or a2 machine and the third will be we are using some data flow applicable engine so that means more flexibility is coming this discount will not be get okay that is the first thing you want to understand and otherwise when you increase the usage when you use the computer like when the compute system or the kubernetes engine it will when you increase the usage for example in the 28 days we are increasing the vm the cost will be not affecting the cost the uh, discount we will the provide because uh, google need more customers they are more flexible so that is the reason they are providing these kind of offers to them and the second one will be the uh, pre uh, committed committed gcp requirement for example you know the one project we you got from the client that will sustain at the 2 years or 3 years then we can buy these kind of discount for example when you buy the one year of a uh, thing it will be higher than the 3 year okay so uh, when that time of you will get 75 or 70 to 80 percent discount you will get when using so that is but only one thing you want to know the duration of the project then only we can buy like a bulk bulk, bulk buying the uh, subscription or vm from the google and the third one will be the pre attempt uh, pre attemptable vms we can use the advantages of pre attemptable vm means we can uh, we can uh, means disconnect the 20 within the 24 hours we can disconnect the vm so that is the main advantage because we don't like it or we want to change it within 24 hours we can disconnect it and we don't want to pay it so that is the first thing that is a cheaper one and also we will get 30 second alert from that one so where we can use means we will get more recovering stage when fall tolerance stage this will be the good one and the second will be cheaper the minimum cost we required means only small thing we can do right so that kind of time we can use this pre adaptable one and uh, one more thing uh, we can tell us when we use the items in our computer it will be good for after this for example we don't need to do it frequently or uh, it will take some time for the batch processing so that we can implement with the help of pre adaptable So these are the main thing we want to know when when you come into the cost effective models of the Google GCP VM. So yeah, I think all good. Thank you.